Hi everyone and welcome to Bumpy. If you want to know how I turn this ugly Halloween frame into this beautiful room decor, stay tuned and I'll show you how easy and how inexpensive you can do Well, thank you everybody for joining me today. Thank you to all the new subscribers and of course the subscribers that have been here from day one and they still come back and leave those comments. I just want to give you a big old hug and a big old thank you. Today I have for you a simple uh, Dollar Tree DIY that you can turn into a beautiful home decor piece for your bedroom. Um, for your living room, maybe for your craft room, or maybe for a little girl's bedroom or playroom. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Let me share with you the items that you will need for this project. You will need a $1 plastic Dollar Tree Ugly Halloween decoration. You will need some craft paper of your choice or material depending on your style and your color of decor. If you're more shabby cheeky, maybe you're bling bling, that's up to you to create the colors that you want for your project. The next that you will need is spray can paint of your choice or you may leave your picture frame black as it comes. I chose a gloss coral color by Rustoleum. I purchased this at Walmart for three and something. I don't remember exactly the something. And the reason for that is I was really into this coral color last year and it was really hard for me to find inexpensive uh, room decor. Okay, so this is optional. The next that you will need is adhesive spray and this was bought at the Dollar Tree. A pair of scissors, so a glue gun and glue sticks, and initial of your choice. This initial here is from the Dollar Tree. Not sure if they still carry these in stores. Um, this is, I think at Michael's clearance, 25 cents. This came three of these initials for 25 cents on clearance at um, Michael's. This has already adhesive on the back of the initial. And I believe I got this for a quarter at a thrift store. And this is a burlap initial. Okay. And also you can also um, use any broken jewelry that you like to put into your decor or any kind of floral burlap anything you like. I'm going to choose this pretty little flower with a pearl just to give it a delicate, more feminine look. Okay? So let me show, oh, and you will also need a piece of poster board. You can get two of these for one dollars at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so the first step that you're going to do is you're going to take this part off your picture frame you're going to go spray paint your picture frame if you decide to change the color. At, as the picture frame is drying, you will trace a circle with your white poster board. Once you have done that, you will cut along the part that is circled over here. And then you will have this part with the white poster board. Then you will take your fabric or your uh, craft paper, whatever you choose. I am going to choose this material. I am going to iron it. 
I am going to spray adhesive spray right here to my piece of board that I've already cut and that's ready to go. I'm going to add my material and I'm going to press hard so it allows to have no wrinkles. Okay, once I have this glue, again I am going to trim all the way around the material with my scissors. Once that is done, to save time, I already have mine here ready to go, as you can see. So now I'm going to take my little piece over here and I'm going to insert it to my already coral painted picture frame. And as you can see, the back of the frame has a place that you can hang. Okay, once your circle has the paper and the material, you're going to insert it into your picture frame. And then I'm going to take my tape and I'm just going to tape it into place so it doesn't move. Okay, see that? I have it all taped into place. Okay, and now I'm going to place right around here my Michael's initial. This has already adhesive, so that was not a problem. And then I'm just going to add my little romantic flower to it. Okay, so this one has already a little bit of adhesive, but it's not going to stay into place. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue right over here and just place it here on the side of the initial. Well, more up on top to the side. There you go. There you have this beautiful beautiful home room decor maybe you can do something with seashells and do a bathroom decor but see that so now let me share with you my initial gallery wall in my bedroom so you can see how this turned out with the rest of the other uh diys b initials that i have created in my room okay guys here is my initial gallery wall that I have created here in my room. And there you have it. Here is the one we just did together using that Dollar Tree ugly Halloween frame. Wow, was that a transformation or what? Oh, I just love it. You know, it was so hard for me to get stuff from my bedroom in this coral and teal mixed color. And yeah, I did it with under $2. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to run to the Dollar Tree and do some of your creations with your colors. I would love to see them. If you do, you can reach me in Facebook at Beatrice Morali or Bumpy DIY. It's the same account. Also, remember, this is a great um great craft idea that you can do as christmas gifts okay thank you so much everyone and we'll see you in the next one bye bye